Who doesn't love the colors of autumn? No doubt, this season is very enchanting and probably the best time for amazing hikes and photography. But the many benefits that autumn brings come at a cost. Your travels definitely require more planning as if you chose to visit Switzerland during winter or summer. Here is where I'm providing you some of the most important information that you need to know before traveling to Switzerland during autumn. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's autumn again, my favorite season throughout the entire year. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. <laughs> and regardless of what I think about autumn, it is the most underrated season throughout the entire year. And you should really consider making a holiday here in Switzerland during October and November. However, there are a few important things that you should take note of and that's why I'm producing this video. So I'm going to talk about the truths about traveling in Switzerland during these two months. So the first thing I think that's very apparent. Just look at the surrounding. Wow. You see nature is preparing for a great farewell before it's turning winter. You have all these colors, golden autumn or Indian summer. You see all the leaves from green to orange to yellow to flashy red. This is very, very impressive. And actually, during this season, you can take some of the very best photos throughout the entire year. Second, October and especially November, these months in Switzerland, they are off season. And because of that, you can get some cheap deals, which is really great, especially if you think that Switzerland is quite expensive for traveling. So, for example, when I went to Fiesch, over there until mid-October you can actually buy a ticket, it's called Herbstsonne and with that you have unlimited cable car rides for one day. I think this is quite a great deal. And in addition to that you get a lunch covered with the ticket. This is just one out of a couple of examples. So should you be a budget traveler then autumn is definitely going to be a great time for you to come to Switzerland. The next thing is going to be very important for you. October and especially November, these are the months where many hotels will end their season and they'll only reopen during mid-December. This is because Christmas, New Year and skiing season is going to be very busy for them. Thus, don't expect that your favorite hotel is going to remain open. In fact, your choice is going to be very limited. Yeah, <laughs> this is actually the ultimate sacrifice you have to make should you want to book your holiday during October and November. However, you'll get so many other benefits from golden autumn season. Same goes for the restaurants, many of them will be closed, some will remain open and here it's really important that you'll make a reservation at least one day before you're going for dinner. I really speak out of experience and I saw so many people who came to the restaurants and then they really thought that they might get a table and then they were very surprised that the restaurant was fully booked. So here it's really important to take that into account, especially should you travel in larger groups. This point is going to be very important. Another and probably the most important truth about traveling in Switzerland during October and November is that sunny weather is not always guaranteed. Now of course if you're taking a look at the photos of the tourism boards like my Switzerland then you will see always these amazing pictures, sunny days, the sunlight hitting the golden lurches and seeing all these beautiful reflections of the lakes. Well actually it's very common that during autumn it's going to rain or it's going to be foggy like this. So yeah, this is really important for you to know. So I really don't want you to be disappointed when you come here to Switzerland and then think that the weather is always going to be sunny. I actually consider myself being very lucky this year. I had quite a lot of sunny days and yet many days were actually rainy. Although this type of weather is not favored, rainy days are actually not too bad after all. Especially if you're up in the Alps, then it might snow. 
During October and November, it's not that rare that you will have snowfall up in the Alps. And especially if you see a golden autumn landscape with all its colors and then some snow topping, well, this is going to look very enchanting. Second, rainy weather may produce a lot of mist and render the landscape very mystical. Again, it's not a phenomenon that you can count on, but let's say you're a little bit higher up, for instance in Wengen, then during rainy days the landscape may look very interesting. Foggy days are very common during autumn. Just check yourself. <laughs> this is one of the days I'm just talking about. It's actually very common here down in the plains. I really love this weather, although sometimes it can also be a bit depressing. And that's actually where you should think about spending your holidays up in the mountains on higher altitudes. Foggy or cloudy mornings are actually quite the norm during October and November here in Switzerland. And this is when you exactly should be on top of the mountains, standing above the sea of clouds. This is going to be an unforgettable experience. The last truth that I'm going to talk about traveling during October and November here in Switzerland is that autumn is not always equal to autumn. <laughs> I know this point sounds very confusing, but it's very important for you to understand that wherever you are in Switzerland, autumn is not always going to be exactly at the same stage. And this is because the development of autumn depends on three factors the amount of sunlight, the length of the days, and temperature. So the third factor, temperature, that's actually the one that is the most decisive. Because if you're up in the Alps, then in general it's cooler. And because of that, autumn is going to set in earlier. So should you want to spend a golden autumn holiday up in the Alps? Well then, you may want to think about the dates 8th to 25th of October. During these days, likely you will see the lurch is turning golden. It's definitely going to be very beautiful. But should you want to spend your golden autumn holiday down in the plains, like where I'm right now, well, then you would have to target later dates. So around 25th October till mid-November, this is when autumn is going to be at its peak down here. But I want you to understand that you cannot fully rely on the dates that I just mentioned. It really depends how the previous months have been. So should September and October be too warm? Well then these dates may shift towards the later parts of the year. So then you may want to think about early November till end November. These were the important points to take note should you book a trip in Switzerland during October and November. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give this video a like, leave a comment, share it to your friends. It would be really awesome. Also, if you're new to this channel, then you're most welcome to subscribe. I always post videos about traveling in Switzerland and Southeast Asia. Also, my Festively Friday episodes. Here, I talk about the different cultures of the world. Should you like this kind of content, then definitely Geomographic is going to be the right channel for you. So that's it from my side. We're going to see each other very soon.